All right, guys. Hello again and welcome um, to G Squared Academy, where excellence is as usual epitomized. In today's video, what we're going to be looking at is AI detection in students' work. So one of the problems that we're having is that students are producing work which is not their own. And we understand the idea is to get um, students to work properly to do the things that are necessary so that they're able to learn how to write properly. And in just putting things into A, into A and asking it to do it for you, clearly the skills about writing are not learned. And so we want to check to see if, you know, was this work done by AI or was it done by the student themselves? A lot of teachers have problems with this because what's happening is like, how do I test for this? We know that Turnitin has added uh, an AI detection software to its thing, but Turnitin is usually um, subscription based. And so if you are just quote unquote, a regular classroom teacher who's not going to be using Turnitin, but your students are using ChatGPT and you want to find out really if they have actually done the work, well, here's a nice tool that you may use to determine that. And that's um, zero GPT. So in ChatGPT here, I have something that I did. I just asked it to write all of these things. Yes. So I'm just going to copy that and I copy that and I go over to zero GPT and I paste that in. Yeah. And so it will detect the text to see if this is good. And what it has done said here is that this is 100% AI generated text, which it is. It is 100% generated AI text. And that's pretty good. Now, if you scroll down a little bit further, you will notice that it says, the accuracy of this tool is 98%. So hopefully it works. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some human text and we're going to piece that in to see what sort of activity it gives us. Okay, so I copied the text and I'm pasting it now. Let's see what we get here, right? And we're going to detect that. So there you go. This says that your text is human written text, which it is because I did write it myself and I did not use any AI to write it at all. So I'm going to actually take someone else's work who I have um, and see if their text is actually um, AI generated. So let's see. Let's do that. OK, so I got the work and now I'm going to paste it. So let's see what happens now. So I'm pasting that work. This is not my work. This is a work that someone else has done. I don't know if they used any AI generating software for it. So let's see what happens here. Okay, wow. Your text is human written. So this text is completely human written. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a piece of work which I know was AI generated in parts. And let's see how it compares there. I tested it somewhere else. We agreed in our discussions that it was AI generated in parts. And now I'm gonna test to see if that actually does support this. Okay, so now I'm gonna paste that text, which I know had some AI generated issues with it. So let's see what we get from zero GPT. All right, so it's loading. Let's see what we get here. All right, it's a pretty big file. And the good thing about this is that it accepts very large files. There you go. 52.11% of this was AI detected. Now, this was actually compared with Turnitin. And when we compare this with Turnitin, the percent we got was... So with Turnitin, it was just about 63%. So what we're seeing here is that this software, Zero GPT, is able to detect um, AI activity. And so therefore, we are able to use it, you know, just to help us to detect if students are just copying and pasting their work. But apart from that, we want to recognize that the use 